Hi guys, welcome to Delivery Studios. This is the movie app. We'll be wrapping up and we'll be uh, nearly the coffin uh, right there. And uh, with the save instant state, uh, let's persist uh, the movie list since uh, we're not actually saving the most rated and the popular movies to the SQLite database. Uh, we should try to persist it. And uh, we're going to maintain the scroll position. Uh, while rotating the device, probably you scroll to the line 6 or uh, you're in the 6th item. When you rotate the, 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 the device, it should still uh, be persistent. Uh, so you shouldn't start all over again. Or when you're clicking back to the uh, layout, you should uh, maintain uh, the scroll position. So we'll be achieving this using the, the save instant state uh, to get the power slave, get the array list, and set it back anytime the activity. Uh, experience a configuration changes. Uh, so I'll be showing you how to achieve this in the matter of moments now. Right there in, in the screen, you could see the emulator. I uh, will show you what uh, it should look like. If you notice, this is the movie app. So we could uh, scroll up and we could also uh, scroll back to the position. Now uh, we're going to uh, test run how to know if this actually works for us. Uh, I'm going to scroll to a particular item. Let's call, let's look at. Okay, we're right now in the, the the pop fiction, the pop fiction. So I'll be rotating the device uh, so that you could actually see uh, a change in configuration and uh, the the persistency that uh, we're looking at in this uh, in this tutorial. So we're going to do the special integrations with uh, an emulator. So we'll see if uh, this gets persisted uh, or not. So we're going to actually uh, wait for the rotation uh, to take place, uh, which we're expecting that it could happen in a matter of a moment. Oh, we have it swiveled. So we need the screen to follow suit. Uh, right. Could you see that? Uh, we still maintaining the scrolled position. You could see the pop fiction uh, right there. So it's not that it's starting all over uh, from the from the top. So we you could see the top. Yeah. So the pop position. I'm trying to scroll, but it's a little lag. Fine. But the pop position maintains uh, the, the 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 rotation. Uh, it maintains uh, the the scroll position that uh, it was. So I would like to swivel back to focus and let's get to see fine. We're going to have uh, a persistent uh, flow of data. And if you should notice, uh, we're not connecting to the API uh, every time we are the, the configuration changed and the device is actually uh, picking from uh, the safe instant state uh, value. So it's actually showing that immediately. So you don't have the loading effect, you know, fetching from the API over and over again, since you have a persistent data saved somewhere, you could just rely on it. When there's a change in configuration uh, uh, flow, just probably when the activity get destroyed and get recreated. So cool, uh, let's get to see how it's been done in code. Uh, so that we could actually uh, understand uh, the basic flow of uh, the the save instant state. Now, right there in the main activity, we're going to we'll be achieving this in the main activity. So I'll be showing you on how to do that. Uh, you set up the list state. That's a static string. Uh, we also set up the parse label for the saved recycler layout state. Uh, we have the bundle for the re recycler layout, a string value, uh, where we have the movie instance. This is an array list of movies. So we get to see how we're going to tie all those fields in the, in, the, in the activity. Firstly, we need to override a method called unsave instant state. Now, in unsave instant state, what are we persisting? Uh, you call the save instant state object and you put policy label array list uh, with a key which is the string value called list state and the movies instance that's what you're saving so where are we getting this movie instance 
we should know where the movie instance is going to be triggered so i'm going to do a search Control f movie instance and find where the movie instance is being called on you could see where the movie instance value is being gotten uh it's been gotten when you load the json for the first time and when you load it for the json the json is going to check the sort order that returns uh, uh the, the string value so the sort order returns if it's a most popular if it's the most rated or if it's the other way around that's the favorite you could see the sort order here it returns the sort order string so that is what you'll be listening to in the load json so that would be that would make you know which particular type of data are you going to fetch based on the scenario in, in question if the sort order is most popular you run this chunk and what you're going to do when you go to the api for the first time you save all the movies object to the list called movie instance you can see that you save it somewhere it's different from it's just like you're saving it somewhere and you're using the other or just like just let's replicate this list save one here use the other the one you saved could be reused that's just what this is telling us we are saving all the movies to the movie instance and we are still passing the movies list to the adapter to display one one flow now in the next turn we'll be using that movie movie instance rather than fetching from the api one more time so that's just so that's where the movie instance is being called we have the movie instance here as well uh, it's called when you are not when you're fetching from the popular and the most traded that's the two scenarios the order is from the db and you know you should know any data from the android internet database which is the sqlite is persisted is persisted across until the app gets on a stored so that's just it so we need to only persist the most rated and the popular now you persisting the uh the this is the word this should be the top rated right uh, and now you're also setting the all instance to the movie instance because uh, you can display the popular and the most rated the same time you display one before the order and you do that when you go to your settings to toggle to the next or to call on the most rated or call on the popular so that's it so now you could see that the movie instance is going to have valid data and that is what we are saving to the state to the instant state uh, using the put parcel label array list you save that right there and in turn you're going to get that back if save instant state is not equals to null that is the uncreate method you're going to call the save instant state get possible label array list and pass the key and you have a valid movie instance at this point in time so if the save instant state is not equals to null you call a different method but if it is you initialize the view and start a fresh call you could get that you should know that once the save instant state is not equals to null definitely there's uh, a saved instance uh, right there to use and you'll be having the movie instance uh, data to fetch or to, to 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 reuse. So you just go through that. You leave the fresh call. But if it's not lot, you should know that this is a new entry to the app. You fetch the APIs and you save to the movie instance. You could see the Jimmy, so cool, and it works perfectly. So you call the display data alongside. I will be talking about uh, the scroll position. If you should notice that second instance state that we're saving. You call the save instance state put parcel label so you need to implement your pojo with parcel label if you didn't do that you won't be able to use this functionality that's why parcel label is quite much more preferred than serializable or than just plain uh pojo so anytime you are creating your uh pojo setting getter if you want to reuse objects of your pojo you want to persist data through that you should implement pass label and uh, get to set up the pass label instances in the class in the singleton class and from there you could start to put pass label and you could get pass label as well you put pass label here and you put on the key the bundle recycle layout and you pass in the recycler view now look at what you'll be doing here as a, as a value get layout manager which is uh probably uh the uh the linear layout 
and on save instance state, saving the state of the layout. You pass that in, and in turn, when you call in, uh, when you when you know when you, when the when the app application experience a configuration change, it's going to destroy the activity and recreate. So when it's recreating, if save instance state is not equal to null, you get the proxy label, which is the key, and you pass that to a save recycler view layout, which is a possible object. Now, how are you going to use this? You're going to use this in the display data. In the display data method, you call your recycler view find, you instantiate uh, the adapter to use, you get the configuration, orientation, two, when you're in portrait, four, when you're in landscape, you set the item animator as you like, and now you call on restore layout manager position, because without doing that, you won't be able to restore that position when the configuration changed. Now, what you're going to do, and you call adapter notify the data set changed. What you're going to do in the restore manager position, you also check if the save, save recycler layout state is not equals to null, and you get the layout manager at this point in time, and you call the on restore instance state, which you pass the pass label, the save recycler layout state object as the parameter there. So with that, it's going to restore that state, that scroll position to the exact position that it was when you actually experienced a configuration change on the device. So I think that's actually uh, is quite uh, direct and, and explicit enough for you to understand how to uh, set up uh, save instance state on possible objects and at the same time have to save the scroll position of your recycler view. So if you have any question whatsoever uh, in this uh, lead to insight, I would like you to put to the comment below, put your comments as well, and share the video to those who need it, to your friends, to your to your colleague, uh, to to anyone you feel could be beneficial to this uh, uh, little implementation. And I will implore you to stick by with Delores Studios. Don't go anywhere. We still have a lot to talk about when it comes to Android development. Thank you very, very much for hanging out with me throughout this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye for now.